Dynamic Infrastructures, a film about dynamic infrastructures from Fujitsu. We understand the issues you face. Business is getting faster all the time, and IT has to keep pace and adapt just as quickly. But as an IT manager, you also have to contend with rigid and complex structures that waste considerable time and money. What you need is an agile, efficient, and reliable infrastructure. In short, you need dynamic infrastructures. Let's look at a typical use case. The executive management wants to move the intranet over to SharePoint, and they need a sandbox to test it. In the past, that would have meant buying loads of physical servers, taking weeks of setting up, installing, and testing. Today, with dynamic infrastructures, we can handle all of that easily. We can put together a test server from a range of server components, virtually and without even touching a screwdriver. We'll take two two-way CPU systems from our server pool. We'll give each of them as much main memory as needed. And we'll assign them a 100 gigabyte disk space from the storage pool. Finally, we'll automatically start the desired application on the ideal operating system for the job. So, without actually touching a server, we've put together a complete environment to support the desired test infrastructure. Let's take a look at what's happening here in the data center right now. You can see how the physical components in the data center are pulled together from a number of different resource pools. The application is currently using this configuration. Now the management team can test the SharePoint service in a completely sealed off virtual environment, and the live production systems running on the other resources won't be affected in any way. Once they are finished testing, we can go live. We'll now configure the system to allow the SharePoint service to access additional resources when needed without our intervention. The blades go on and offline automatically, and memory is allocated dynamically in the same way. When the components are no longer needed, we free them up again. We can then use them to build another server system. It's that easy. Let's take a look at another scenario. The accounting team is in the process of monthly closing. They need the extra computing power to get the job done on time. How did we handle this in the past? Here you can see a completely underutilized server and its load profile over the course of the year. As you can see, it spends most of its time doing nothing, costing money and requiring maintenance. But the times have now changed. You can see here how flexibly we can scale server size in line with the workload in our dynamic IT environment. Let us show you how we handle the current request for more processing power. Here you can see the various SAP applications and databases on a number of different servers. Accounting starts working. The application workload is rising. We now assign some more power to handle the peak workload. We'll do that by assigning additional server blades to FlexFrame for SAP directly on the running system. You can see what a difference that's made. Next, we'll make the two blades available to our SAP test department for the forthcoming release upgrade. The accounting team finished monthly closing. The application workload is dropping. Let's give our SAP test department the two extra blades they need for their forthcoming release upgrade. That's it. IT managers like you have to ensure the uninterrupted information workflow. But one of your main tasks is to develop and prepare the data center for future requirements. Often this core task falls behind the day-to-day -day business. With managed maintenance, IT managers can now give full responsibility to Fujitsu. As the single point of contact, Fujitsu maintains the IT on behalf of the IT manager and reports the daily service status to him. This even in heterogeneous environments. The benefits are clear. Now IT managers are able to focus more on their core business and satisfy their customers, while Fujitsu ensures smooth IT operation with a cost advantage. You know the situation. At the end of the fiscal year, high server and storage capacities are needed to ensure business continuity. Sometimes these demands exceed the available capacity. In these situations, companies can benefit from a hybrid cloud model. The capacity of the data center, or the private cloud, is extended by way of a trusted cloud in the Fujitsu data center. The flexible usage is paid as you use it. You simply disconnect from the cloud as soon as you can handle the workload with your own resources. How's that? You probably have plenty of questions you'd like to ask. We are happy to show you personally how dynamic infrastructures can answer all your questions on data center technology.